Hey guys, thanks so much for joining me today on this episode of Dynamo BIM. Last episode, we talked a little bit about the new version of Dynamo, Dynamo 2.13 for Revit 2023. And today, I want to talk a little bit more about that in terms of differences in particular between new Dynamo and old Dynamo. Take a look at the script we created in episode 13 to find and replace values. Link down below if you don't recall or didn't see that video. In terms of how it looks in Dynamo and then how it looks in Dynamo Player. So let's get started. So in the old version of Dynamo here, Dynamo for Revit 2022, we can essentially select some nodes, right click on them, and create a group. Right click on the group, and change the color, maybe even update the name. Just gonna copy the node name over here into the group name, change me some, save me some typing. Now, one really interesting thing is that the group name can actually accept a line break. I can actually hit enter and type in some additional text, like this can only be a string parameter. I can actually copy all of that with the line break included and paste that into the node name. Now the reason that this is so important is that this node is an input, right? It's a pink group. And so if I close out of this, save my changes. Within Dynamo Player, you can see here that that looks really nice being on a separate line. Definitely is a little bit easier for my user to read here. Okay. So when I run this, it's essentially going to look for anywhere with the word level and replace it with floor across all of my view names. Ask me if I want to rename my levels and produce within Dynamo Player an output of all of the views that have been updated. Works really well. So let's take a look at Dynamo Player and Dynamo within Revit 2023, the new Dynamo. You can see first off, once again, we talked about this in our last episode, episode 14. We can now show the extension of our graph properties which gives us a description, an image, a name, and even a URL. Kind of behavior, if I select two or more nodes, right click, I can actually create a group. You can see here now that I actually have a description in addition to the group name. So go ahead and copy in some values here once again. So update my name and go ahead and give it a description as well. Now, one really great thing is that in 2023, Dynamo 2.13, if I select a note and a node, I can actually pin them together. And what this does is it actually creates kind of a description within Dynamo Player. So if I take a look, Let's close out of this without saving. Open up Dynamo for 2023. You see at the main splash screen, we see the image within those preferences that we defined, as well as the description. And if I just click on the node name, the script name rather, you can see that that note that was pinned to the node now lists kind of underneath as subtext. So notice also we can come up here and turn those off. So up under the display preferences, we can tell not only the graph properties to show or not show, we can also hide the node descriptions. So notice now that that pinned note value is no longer there. By default, the values 
also are sorted by alphabetically in terms of those input nodes, we can also have them not sort of alphabetically, kind of based off the default and how they were placed in the canvas in that order. So if I run this script here, let's see, once again, ask me if I wanna rename my levels and it gives me the output of what actually occurred within my model. So anywhere that there was level now became floor. Thank you so much for checking out this episode of Dynamo BIM. Hopefully this makes working with Dynamo so much easier within Dynamo for Revit 2023. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to learn about Dynamo next.